Well, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. This is a great venue, and I'm honored to actually be invited in to speak here. I have sat on that side. I was wondering what it would be like to be up here. I guess I know now. So it's interesting listening to all the discussions on Measure 11, and that you know, kind of brings up to me, you know, when you're looking at, and I'll get to the point why it's connected, you're looking at us, you're trying to figure out what's the difference between the different candidates for mayor. Well, Measure 11 reminds me that one of the things I do on a daily basis is, you know, we're hearing about that at the highest level, the Supreme Court level. One of the things that I bring here is that I've been a, a currently a reserve deputy with the Washington County Sheriff's Office. So it's interesting to hear this discussion, whereas at our level, we're actively trying to find out, okay, does somebody fit within the Measure 11? But so what I'm bringing that differentiates me from the mayor and, and from Pavel as well. Uh, one of those is that I do bring that level of experience because the city of Beaverton does have its own police department. I believe it's close to 200 people right now and that reports up to the mayor. So being able to understand safety issues I think is critical because one thing we want is uh, safe neighborhoods and safe streets. So I do bring that level of understanding of actually going on patrol and actually, I've gone out around Beaverton looking for sex offenders as part of that job, too. So I can probably tell you where all the sex offenders are living in Beaverton. Fortunately, not too many of them. Some of the other differences that I bring that, uh, you know, when you're looking at somebody, you're always looking at, okay, what's your experience? What's your education? Uh, tell you a little bit about my education. I do have a Juris Doctor from Lewis and Clark Law School. Uh, just to be fair, no, I'm not a practicing attorney. I never did take the bar. But having the law degree is very useful because many issues come up. You know, the Nike case was brought up earlier, and that was a situation where we had a mayor, uh, and obviously, I don't know how much city council was involved, but decided to go after that with, I don't think, a full appreciation as to what all of that entailed. So having a law degree allows me to have a better perspective on that. Additionally, I've got a Master's of International Management from Lewis and Clark Law, I'm not sorry, Lewis Clark from Portland State University. So what that is is basically an international MBA. So what I want to bring to the party is also that MBA experience in running the city. The city is basically, the mayor is running a 500 person organization, a $170 million budget. And so that requires some significant management experience. So I do bring that. So speaking of the experience from my work perspective, which differentiates me from the other candidates here, is that I spent most of my career, about almost 30 years now, in the high-tech industry, but not just the high-tech industry, but working for some of the largest corporations that we know, IBM, Sun Microsystems, currently at Intel. And in those corporations, we have a lot of management rigor, right, professional management. What I want to do is bring that type of professional management and rigor and discipline to the city of Beaverton. The mayor currently doesn't have that type of experience, and so that definitely differentiates me from the background that you'll see from the mayor. So I want to bring that to uh, City Hall as well. And then one of the other things which I know differentiates me from the other two is my opinion on whether or not we should go away from the strong mayor form of government. And anyone who's talked to me or when I ran for City Council two years ago knows this is kind of a passion of mine. Beaverton is kind of like the last city standing in Oregon and in many other places that we still have a strong mayor form of government where we elect the mayor to run the city. Basically, we're, we're electing the CEO of Beaverton, whereas many other cities have gone to the city manager form of government. And the last time Beaverton entertained changing this uh, form of government was about the late 1970s was the last time that this came up. Beaverton has clearly grown significantly since that point, and I think at this juncture in time, that Beaverton needs to move to a city manager where we have a professional person managing the day-to-day -day operation of the city, whereas the city council then is focused on the policy. And then we have the five city councilors uh, working on policy as opposed to a mayor running the city and working on policy as well. So I think it's about time that we move to that form of government. And so it's one of the things that definitely distinguishes me from my uh, the other uh, candidates that you see up here right now. So. When you're thinking about who you're going to vote for, again, those are the major distinctions. You, I think you'll find I've got different education credentials, significant education credentials, more of a professional background, professional experience and management discipline. Safety, public safety, being on the streets, knowing what's important about public safety, and that's very important when we're also managing a police department. And so please keep that in mind. I'm John Somoza. Thank you.